Good morning, gamers. Look at this beautiful sunrise. It's eight, and we're on our way to try and see Paradise Hills. We have a very empty early Sunday morning Main Street here. Back at the Egyptian this year, which is like, I guess like the signature theater. It's like the one on Main Street. Uh, we made it into Paradise Hills. Connor, uh, you have to tell me your story. Oh, buses suck. Public transport's for losers. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> So we just saw Paradise Hills. It was beautiful. It was very beautiful. Very beautiful to watch. Um, um a script could have been a little tighter, but like a really good direction. Not a good I loved it. Molly. <laughs> I thought it was great. I thought all the actresses um, gave a really powerful performance together, and um, I really liked how it like explored agency for women. So a really great debut for for first film. She was incredible. Yeah, Fuck. really good stuff. And she had, did an outfit change from the beginning oh my God. movie to the end. I like, I'm gonna, I stand this director. Okay, we love her. We saw, we saw Paradise Hills and uh, it was, it was cool. It was beautiful it to looked, look at. It looked really yeah, amazing. Gorgeous. Costume, costume design is awesome. Costumes was amazing, the fantasy building, but could have been a little bit better of a script. And yeah, better kind of a mess. emotional connection with the characters, yeah. but it's just for the, little, just little for the costume design enough, things. I'd say it was a good deal. It's worth it. So I've now seen like three of the best movies that I've ever seen in a row. And the last one that we just saw it was Paradise Hills. And that's definitely one that I want to watch with my friends and family because, you know, it reminds me of Laurel School for Girls. Just on our uh, Walmart hike, taking a second to appreciate the mountains. Oh my God. Are you ready? Is everyone ready to say goodbye? What's the thing again? Uh, Robert Redford? Robert Redford. Yeah. Yeah. Robert Redford. Yeah. The amalgamation of all the actors that came out. That's gay? Vlogging at you solo once again because the squad left me, but it's okay. Because I'm watching Into the Light. What's the movie called? Blinded by the Light. Blinded by the Light. Blinded by the Light by. Grinder Chadha, which if you don't know, she directed two of my all-time favorite movies, Bend It Like Beckham and Bride and Prejudice, so I'm really excited. Forgot to review this earlier, Blinded by the Light was really good, and while not like as good as Hala, my favorite movie of all time, it is still something that I'd want to watch with my family again, multiple times. And it's also a very good movie to sing along to, that good Bruce Springsteen soundtrack. And um, I believe it got picked up for a wide release, so that's going to happen. Oh my gosh, Blinded by the Light. So good. I think it was my favorite movie that I saw here. It was really funny, but still like sad and emotional. And it had like a really good plot line to it. And also like the soundtrack was amazing. Like just Bruce Springsteen, that was basically it. So it was really good. And then at the Q&A, like the actual guy that the movie was based on came out and talked. So it was fun. <laughs> okay, so we went to see Documentary Now. It was really good. Yeah. So it's a TV show and it has like a bunch of people from SNL in it, Seth Meyers, John Mulaney, Taryn Killam, on and on. Fred Armisen, all the talent is there. I love all of them. <laughs> so they premiered the first two episodes of the upcoming season. Um, one of them was about a, a musical and the other was about an artist and they were so funny. Yes, oh my God. Um, and then afterwards they did a panel and Fred Armisen was there and I loved Fred he Armisen. Talked. He beautiful. talked. It was amazing. <laughs> I died. I had so much fun. <laughs> and then at, like when the panel was over, they gave us all these like records. vinyl records with the soundtrack to the From, musical. Like, the first episode. Yeah, on it. And this is John Mulaney. <laughs> Lyrics written by Seth Meyers and John Mulaney. What could be better? Yeah, we're very excited. Say, we enjoyed it very much. It was a good time. Thank you. Alright, I saw Velvet Buzzsaw last night. Uh, world premiere. Saw Jake Gyllenhaal. Very exciting. Um, it, I really enjoyed it, like, all the way through, but then we got to the end and I was like, where's the rest of it? So, I'm a little mixed on it overall.
Cool, so I saw Velvet Buzzsaw last night with Jake Gyllenhaal. We got to see Jake too, it was a world premiere. I really did like it. The more I think about it, I feel like the, the, the movie's missing something. It was just kind of there to see glorious deaths of people, but it has one message and it does that with every death and every horror thing that happens. And there's not really a redeeming moment for any character. So I'm kind of questioning, like it was an enjoyable watch, but I think it's missing something to be really good. So what would I rate it? Maybe like a 3.5 out of five, something like that. I mean, it's still a good watch, but it's not, it's missing something for sure. I thought it was good. It was very funny, and I thought a good amount of scary, and Jake Gyllenhaal was really good. I thought it was a good movie.